Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Manila Cathedral. Let us now all together pray the Oratio Imperata. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. St. Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. See. I have God for my help. The Lord sustains my soul. I will sacrifice to you with willing heart and praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, coming together as God's family, with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for He is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Shepherd your people with your staff, the flock of your inheritance that dwells apart in a woodland in the midst of Carmel. Let them feed in Bashan and Gilead, as in the days of old, as in the days when you came from the land of Egypt, show us wonderful signs. Who is there like you, the God who removes guilt and pardons sin for the remnant of his inheritance? Who does not persist in anger forever, but delights rather in clemency, and will again have compassion on us, treading underfoot our guilt? You will cast into the depths of the sea all our sins, you will show faithfulness to Jacob and grace to Abraham as you have sworn to our fathers from the days of old. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Lord, show us your mercy and love. You have favored, O Lord, your land. You have brought back the captives of Jacob. You have forgiven the guilt of your people. You have covered all their sins. You have withdrawn all your wrath. You have revoked your burning anger. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Restore us, O God, our Savior, and abandon your, dis your displeasure against us. Will you be ever angry with us, prolonging your anger to all generations? Lord, show us your mercy and love. Will you not instead give us life, and shall not your people rejoice in you? 
Show us, O Lord, your kindness and grant us your salvation. Lord, show us your mercy and love. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers appeared outside wishing to speak with him. Someone told him, your mother and your brothers are standing outside asking to speak with you. But he said in reply to the one who told him, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand toward his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of my heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, when Jesus said in our gospel today, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. Did you notice what Jesus did with his hand? Our gospel today tells us that before saying these words, Jesus stretched out his hand, probably to point to his disciples who he was referring to as his mother and brothers. But my dear brothers and sisters, it is significant that this this detail was mentioned by St. Matthew as he narrated his gospel. Jesus stretched out his hand and then said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of my heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. There are a number of times in the Gospels that Jesus stretched out his hands. When Jesus would heal a person who was sick, he would stretch out his hand in order to touch the person who is sick and heal him or heal her. When Peter was sinking in the water because he became afraid of the strong winds and the big waves, Jesus stretched out his hand in order to save Peter. And on Calvary, Jesus stretched out his hands to be crucified on the cross to show the greatness of his love for us. And in our gospel today, we hear again Jesus stretching out his hand. But the act of stretching out his hand in the gospel today 
is a preparation to a stretching of a definition of what a family is. As Jesus stretched out his hand, he also stretched what family means. Jesus is saying, family is not just about common lineage. Family is not only about common parents or common ancestry. Family is not just about uh, having the same blood based on blood. There is more to family than these. Jesus said, if you do the will of the Father, then you become family. If you do the will of the Father, then you belong to my family. By saying this, Jesus was stretching the meaning of family. Hindi lang yung magkakadugo ang magkakapamilya. Hindi lamang yung may pare-parehong apelyido ang magkakapamilya. Nilawakan ni Jesus ang pangunawa sa salitang pamilya. Basta sinusunod mo ang kalooban ng Diyos, bahagi ka ng pamilya ni Jesus. Jesus stretched out His hand and then stretched the meaning of the word family. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, I think our God is a God of stretching. God stretches His hands in order to heal, to restore, to save, to help, to serve, and to show His love. God also stretches His heart in order to be more understanding, more patient, more merciful and compassionate to all of us. This is what we heard from the prophet Micah in our first reading today. The prophet Micah said, Who is there like you, the God who removes guilt and pardons sin? for the remnant of his inheritance, who does not persist in anger forever, but delights rather in clemency, and will again have compassion on us, treading underfoot our guilt. God is merciful. God is compassionate. God is forgiving. God is loving because He always stretches His heart. My dear brothers and sisters, today, Jesus also invites us to do a little stretching. Stretch our hands in order to help, in order to share, in order to care, in order to show our love, in order to serve others. Baka yung mga kamay natin ay hindi na natin na-stretch. Baka palagi na lamang folded, no? tawag natin sa Tagalog, nakahalukip-kip na mga kamay. Baka yung mga kamay natin hindi na stretch kasi palaging pakabig, no? palapit, hindi na na-stretch para maglingkod sa kapwa para magbigay ng tulong, para dumamay sa kapwa. Stretch those hands in love and service. Lalong-lalo na po sa panahon natin ngayon, napakaraming opportunities to stretch out our hands to show our love, especially for our brothers and sisters who are sick and who are in need. Let us also stretch our minds in order to understand other people more and not be quick to judge. Huwag makitid ang utak. 
Huwag makitid ang pag-iisip. Huwag makitid ang pananaw. Ang paanyayan ni Jesus, lawakan ang pag-iisip. Lawakan ang pananaw para hindi tayo maging mabilis sa panghuhusga sa kapwa para matuto tayong umunawa sa ating kapwa. And let us also stretch our hearts so that we may be more patient with each other, we may be more merciful and compassionate, we may be more forgiving and loving. Hilingin natin sa bi ang biyaya ng Diyos na malawakan natin ang ating puso. Hindi makitid na puso na limitado lamang ang kayang mahalin. Lawakan ang puso upang mahalin ang lahat. Lawakan ang puso para malawak din ang pasensya, hindi maikling pasensya sa ating kapwa. Lawakan ang ating puso para matuto tayong mahabag, magkaroon ng awa, magpatawad, at magmahal sa ating kapwa. Stretch our hands. Stretch our minds. Stretch our hearts. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus invites us, let us do a little stretching. Gather together as a community, let us ask God, our Father, for our needs. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may become a true family, faithful to the will of the Father and to the teachings of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer that government leaders may not enact laws or in initiate programs contrary to our faith and morals. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That families may become true brothers and sisters by their love for one another as willed by Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we may show concern for those suffering in any form, that we may lighten their burdens and help them to keep trusting in God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may come to their everlasting home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us pray for the people who need our prayers and for the intentions offered in this Mass. Loving Father, help us to become your faithful children who are obedient to your holy will. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours 
may become acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, <clears throat> he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my, and my soul shall be healed. The Lord, the gracious, the merciful, has made a memorial of his wonders. He gives food to those who fear him. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord. 
and ye those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries, to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Let us now pray to Our Lady, Our Mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary. Remember, O Most Gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my Mother. To you do I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. Amen. Sacrifice, live and let him go. Share the treasure I know that is God within my soul. Poor and humble heart, offering pain and strife. Lord, to you I give all my everything, my love. face of the aged, I see your wisdom. In the face of the sick, I see your wounds. In the face of the poor, I see your loving home. In all of this, Lord, I give my all. Love and sacrifice, live and letting go. Share the treasure I know, that is God within my soul. Poor and humble heart, offering pain and strife. For to you I give all, my everything. My love and sacrifice. In the face of trials, I see your saving cross. In the face 
signs of danger, I see your hand. In the face of prayer, I see your heart. In the face of love, I see but you. Love and sacrifice, live and let it go. Treasure, I know that it's God within my soul. Your grand humble heart, offering pain and strife. Lord, to you I belong. My everything, my love and sacrifice. Thank you.